Hey everyone, my name's Vivi and I have some great things to show you with our joint updates for avatars, especially with other like 3D avatars bringing them in. So let's jump on in and have some fun while we learn. Okay, so here I have a blank screen and what I'm going to do is bring in a FBX. So I'm just going to drag and drop. The most important thing to know here is the FBX has to have joints already. Okay, so they need to have joints because we're going to add IK joints, which are those green dots to them so that they're easier to edit, adjust, and also so we can add in like poses and motion and all of that to them. So this is all pretty good, like how this is set up. I'm gonna have open avatar auto scale, joint animation. I don't really need fitting suit on for this one. And I'm going to align to bottom. And I'm gonna hit okay. And here I've got my sporty granny. She looks great. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to add in my joints. First, I'm gonna to check to make sure that there are joints already in here, which I have. Now you might be asking me, Phoebe, how did you do that? I just hit Shift X and I can show and hide my joints. If you don't wanna use a shortcut key, you can see this in your 3D toggle menu over here. And then your avatar display, you can see show joints, show avatar joints, and then you can turn them on and off. I have them on, so we're all set. Now what I'm going to do is open up my avatar editor to get to the IK joints for the avatars. So I'm going to go to my top toolbar up here, go to avatar, and then I'm going to say avatar editor. Now I already have my IK joints opened up, but you'll probably see avatar size first. Just go all the way to IK joint, and then you'll see this screen. Now, the first thing that's really important is making sure you're setting your T pose first. So right up to the top here, you'll see set T pose. So she's already set up as a T pose. So I'm going to set T pose and this is good. If you edit and adjust this by mistake, you can always hit reset and it will reset to your T pose. It's really important to set T pose because Chloe needs to know like at least a pose and know like this is a T pose. So that then it can apply all the other poses to it and understand where it should go. So with this window open, you see a few things. You see a shadow avatar, then you see auto mapping, set T pose, reset. There is an eye. Like if you want to learn more, you can go straight to our manual. You can reset the mapping, open up mapping, or even save mapping. So if you've already mapped this out, you can always open this and bring in previous maps if you want to. Um, or And then you can also save this out so then other people don't have to. So let's walk through how we can do this. First, just make sure you notice that there's a required section and there's an optional section. You have to fill out the required at least. But if you have more points, you can always use optional if you want. So let's walk through how you could easily do this. First, you're going to click like head. What you'll see is on my shadow avatar, the dot will like be bright white. This is showing you where that joint should be on your avatar. So I'm going to hit here for head. Then you have waist. It's showing you where the waist should be on your avatar. So I'm going to hit here for waist. I can keep, uh, maybe waist should be here. I can keep going and doing this manually, or I can go to auto mapping and this will automatically do it for me. Pretty great. Once I'm satisfied, I can then save this. I'm just gonna hit set t -bows just in case one more time. And now I'm all set. Now I can go to IK joints and I can edit and adjust this around. I can even use my symmetry, which is really nice, and move this. What's also really nice is I can go to my library and change and use any of these poses.
which is really cool. I can even use a motion file if I wanted to. So I can go into my animation editor and I can bring in a motion file. And then I can see how this works. Pretty cool. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, check out that comment section down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe and check out all of our YouTube channel. There's so much to learn. There's so much information out there. So please check it out. Thanks again and keep having fun in class.